We transfer how to deliver files. Hello, I'm Peter Baker from VoiceOver Masterclass. Now, when you record voiceovers on whatever system or software you use, you'll no doubt be recording uncompressed 24 bit 48 kilohertz WAV files. Or if you have a Mac, you may be recording AIF files. AIF stands for Audio Interchange File Format. And basically, they're the same type of uncompressed file as WAVs, but with metadata elements, and the quality will be the same. Now, unless you're sending 10-second radio ads or other very short files, these WAV files are going to be far too big to attach to an email. A three-minute WAV file would be over 30 megabytes. So why not export your big WAV file and save as a smaller MP3 file? That makes the file much smaller. Problem solved. Well, the waveform looks the same after conversion, and the audio of an MP3 sort of sounds okay soon. It's all right for Spotify, isn't it? But although MP3s are great as demo or audition files to simply attach to emails, a lot of subtle yet important audio quality is lost on conversion. And particularly for broadcast jobs, your MP3 file will be rejected. So, WAV files it is. So how can you get your big WAV audio files to your client? I strongly suggest you don't send your client to a Google Drive folder or a Dropbox folder or equivalent system. There's nothing wrong with these systems, but your voiceover clients will often be working on confidential commercials or games and won't like the idea of their files sharing space with competitors in a folder where their rivals could have access to it. So WeTransfer is the answer. This is where the file or files go into the cloud. Only the client gets to download it at their end. WeTransfer is free to use up to two gigabytes. The client has seven days to download. But I think it's worth upgrading so you get a variety of other download options. Plus, while they download, your clients can see your adverts and branding on the customized download screen. So you simply click here, select the file or files or a folder. I suggest you ignore the option to send email transfer. That's where you enter the client's email address on the WeTransfer site. I think it's better to scroll down and select Get Transfer Link. You upload your VoiceOver web file, copy the transfer link that WeTransfer gives you. You then simply paste this copied link into an email that you send directly to your client. This way, in my opinion, is far more professional and easier to track. You can also, in your email, send a nice message, maybe attach your invoice, and of course, brand it with your sign-off banner all in one email. Now, if you need a log of transfers, well, click on transfers here. If you'd like to change your branding, you click here, and you can use up to five images or five videos that rotate every 30 seconds. I hope you found this useful. For detailed training courses on all things voice and voiceover, please check out voiceovermasterclass.com. There's a free complete voice training and voiceover course you can take right now. And all the best-selling paid courses have free preview chapters so you can see if the courses are right for you before you decide to take them. We have a great value membership scheme too. You can learn how to set up your home studio, use audio editing programs efficiently, greatly boost your voiceover income, learn voice acting and audiobook production, train your voice to be more flexible, deeper and more resonant. And also there are green screen filming, video presentation and editing courses too. All on voiceovermasterclass.com.